वेलकम इन दिस लेसन वी विल लुक इन टू इफ स्टेटमेंट प्रीवियसली वी हैव सीन दैट द लाइन ऑफ कोड एग्जीक्यूट सिक्वेंशली दैट इज प्रोग्राम स्टेटमेंट्स आर एग्जीक्यूटेड वन आफ्टर अनदर इन सिक्वेंस हाउ एवर इन लाइफ इन्वॉर्मेंट यू मे रिसीव अ रिक्वायरमेंट वेयर यू नीड टू रन द कोड बेस्ड ऑन दी सर्टन कंडीशन एंड इफ स्टेटमेंट इज वन ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट टाइप्स that can alter the order of execution in a program if statement allows you to specify that a block of code is to be executed only if the condition attached to the if statement is satisfied it evaluates condition to either true or false the scope of the if statement may still be delimited by a period the end if delimiter should always be used because it makes explicit the scope of the if statement Here is the syntax of if statement. You start by writing if, which is a COBOL reserve keyword, followed by a condition. After that, you will write then, which is again a COBOL reserve word. After then, you will write the block of statement which you need to execute. If you don't want any statement to run, then you can write next statement, which means it can jump to the next statement. If you want the block of code. to execute when the condition is failed then you can code the else part here else is a cobol reserve word and after else you can give the block of code which needs to be executed else is optional and you can code based on your requirement after else statement we can delimit the scope of if statement using end if keyword this is again a cobol reserve word now let's understand with the help of one example suppose we are checking a condition user is login if it is true then say hi to the user if it is false say that you are not logged in we can code this requirement in this fashion if user logged in variable is true then display hi username else display you are not logged in and end the if statement with end if keyword the condition after the if statement can be of any of the following type first type is relation second type is class third type is sign fourth type is complex and fifth type is condition names we will look into this condition types in our upcoming lessons with this we have reached the end of this lesson i hope it has given you a fair idea about if statement keep practicing see you in the next lesson